Zomboid fans! Today, we're looking for trouble. Or maybe, trouble is looking for me. The game loads, ominously. The Zomboids begin their spawning and plotting. And Graham Amos wakes from his nap. As his eyes begin to open, he sees darkness. Where am I? Oh, forgot. I'm locked in my cell. Still dark. No zomboids at first sight. Still a high possibility of a large crowd. But we're okay. Let's see, eight over there. Can't be too careful. More than likely, yeah. A horde there. In the meantime, let's have a smoke and watch the zomboids. It would appear it's going to be foggy again. This will be trouble. Mind danger? Absolutely. Am I spotted? Most definitely. Just wanted to eat my mac and cheese, man. Mac and cheese. Let me eat in peace. I didn't ask you for this. Son of a gun. We may or may not be surrounded. Get on the ground. Stupid zombie, you can't handle all of this. I am a professional MLB player. I am Graham Amos. Make sure you watch me for the next draft. My gosh, since this apocalypse has started, I have yet to watch any kind of sport. Instead, I've been playing the sport. I am the one who competes. I am the champion. I am the MVP. No one can do what I do, except me. Fog once again is closing in. Of course, only trouble. Without a car, nothing but our feet, we will walk. We have no other choice but to walk. We wander aimlessly through the streets, around the warehouse, up and down the roads, searching. No one knows what for. Let's check our map and see where we're at. We have to get moving somewhere. If we continue down this path, there appears to be a residential area, which means there's a good chance of a car. Hopefully. Should be. I have to have hope. Otherwise, we're already dead. I can't tell if I'm seeing zomboids or not. Everything's so blurry. My vision. It deceives me. Remember this area. We started quite a tussle over here. Anyways, let's take out some zomboids. Uh, you. Yeah. All of you. Follow me. 
I didn't intend on attracting all of them, but that's okay. Oh, there's one behind this. That's not good. That's a lot of zomboids. Should I be standing here? Probably not. Back, you fiends. Back. Back, I say. Man, the women can't get enough of me. When in doubt, back out. Don't do stupid stuff. Like, fight a bunch of zomboids. All at once. Always maintain your distance. Who's Graham talking to? Who am I talking to? I don't know. I suppose all the loneliness has finally gone to my head. Because I wander this place alone. Zomboids are everywhere. Pretty good little haul. Can't say I'm very surprised anymore. They appear all the time. Worked up a good sweat playing with those zomboids. Alright, house by house. We'll check. Can't be too careful. there a back exit? Nope, there's not. Wait, yeah, there is. Right here, right? Don't take unnecessary risk. Like running in front of a zomboid. Charge! Full frontal attack! Get on the ground, man. What are you doing? Get on the ground. You ain't welcome here. Get on the ground, man. This is my house. I got a biker helmet now. Pretty cool. Crash helmet. Very, very nice. Flooding mask. We'll hold on to it for old time's sake. What appear the TV station's gone down. No more TV. No more TV. Darkness imprisoning me. All that I see, I sing to myself. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, of course there's two. Always have a secondary escape. <gasps> a party? Where? I want a party. I'm not invited. Did you just tell me I'm not invited to my own party? Skidoosh! I like their hat. Tempted to take it. Was that dumb? Absolutely. Would I recommend it to you? Absolutely not. Don't do that. That's a good way to get canned. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Is there even a car out here? I don't know. Hey, that house caught on fire. Zomboid sitting in a chair. How civil? Oh. You're not civil at all. You're not civil at all. Skidoosh. That's right, I forgot we could burn houses down. Hang on, I have an idea. Oh, dark. All right. It, give me something flammable. I don't know. Five hundred, never. There, it'll get warm. Onion. Moving on. Actually, we need... Oh, well, let's, let's have a little fun. Alright, I take... I don't know. Canned peaches, sure. Alright. I take thy peaches. And I put them in the oven. Close. Well, she'll burn to a ground eventually. I mean, that's probably what happened to this house. I don't think I burned this house down. I could be wrong. I do set a lot of stuff on fire. Of all the things, the door is, of course, locked. Lovely. This will be where we'll get our most valuable item right in here. Guaranteed. Do the lights still work? No! Dumb Boyd. Lovely. Absolute. Oh, fridge. Food? Bear can. Bagels. This is the live. 
I'm a survivor. Everyone else is dead. They just couldn't make the cuts. And now it's just me. Oh, I got a Lovely. The residential area is useless. Absolutely, 100%. No good. Once again, the doors are locked. Should probably start knocking before I just bust through the door. Otherwise, we might get into a very unfun situation. Carpentry. Yoink. At least there's a lot of food. This is not over. Alright, I have a great idea. We're going to modify this place and make it a home. I mean, we might as well. <laughs> Why not? Ooh, that gives me... Ooh, that gives me some good ideas. We might be onto something. We might actually be able to build this place up very nice. Assuming it doesn't get overran. Which, you know, is a very high possibility. But there's zomboid pop. They just keep appearing. Okay. With our zomboid population, odds are we will get overran. Just kidding. I mean, it's a, it's a good possibility. That's what's dangerous about settling in one spot. Is eventually, the horde's gonna move on you. What's up, Sake? How you doing? Dang, that's a big zomboid. What, what's this shirt say? Do you kiss your mama with that mouth? Jeez. Seems a little aggressive. Howdy. Alright. Well, the fog's left in, so that's good. I can see, at least. At least I think it's left in. I think we're clear, for the most part. We do need to clear out these woods. And very unfun location. All right, let's see. Put in container. That'll go bad. We need to eat this. All right, we'll sleep for a minute. We're gonna have to. Ah, uh, sure, I ate the ice cream. Yo, become a shirtless bro. Take your shirt off. But keep any vest on, okay? Nah. No chances. I'm willing to take that risk of 15% wet. I'll take it. I will take it any day. I've invested a ton into this character. You gotta be careful. He is a machine. 
an absolute beast. A menace to the zomboid population. And he's scared. Why is he scared? Here, have a smoke. Well, let's see. Have a smoke. There we go. Unpack. Oh, I didn't want to unpack them all. Okay, well. One. Almost half a pack. Now I'm really talking to myself. That's okay. It's one of these that we can get into. All right, let's start disassembling stuff and gathering some materials. This is the way. I booped the button. Come on, lad. Let's get this taken care of. Table by table, we will gather material. Faster, Graham. Faster. If we disassemble everything in here, we will be in superior shape. We will be doing fantastic. Oh my God. Hell, hell, hell. I have an idea. Should have done this a minute ago. I already know that. Graham is actually talking. I already know that. Now, are we are we already level one? This book is obsolete. Are we beyond level one? Oh yeah, yeah we are. Okay, it doesn't matter then. Disassemble the table faster. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Graham Amos hears this ringing in his head over and over and over. His flashlight, being out of batteries, has no use. And as it gets dark, he will have to settle in and hide once again. This is Graham Amos. Why do we live this way? We wander around aimlessly, searching for peace. But there are no rules anymore, man. This ain't a democracy. They're in the woods.
They're in the woods, man. There are no rules. Gotta be someone stays. Gotta be. We just gotta keep going. Man, if we had an axe, we could really cut down some trees. Ooh, can we? Do we? Hold on. I think we might. A meat cleaver. Well, can't cut down any trees with that. That's okay. Darkness. Oh. Another day, another dollar. 